the show that never ends, Final Cut. Yes, today we are going to take a look at Storage 24. It's a horror monster film from across the big pond over in Great Britain, and it's set in London, and there's this uh, plane that crashes in the middle of London, and these people end up getting trapped in this storage facility near the crash, and they end up getting chased by this creature that is trapped inside the storage facility with them, and it wants to do mean, nasty, gruesome things to them. Uh, and that's the basic plot, folks. It, now, it's nice to see a alien monster film, whatever you want to talk about. It's good to see that type of film with doesn't have the word asylum on it. Now, this was written and stars uh, Noel Clark, who many of you Whovians out there will remember, as Mickey from the Doctor Who series. Well, he's back in here, and it's great to see him in front of the camera with this cast of young British actors who have been in many, many things. So you have an experienced crew here, and that comes across the screen. They give some great performances, and I loved all the relationships they have. Now, some of them were a bit stereotypical, but when you have a limited time and limited budget for your indie film, uh, you know, you stereotypes aren't exactly a bad thing because you, you don't need a full depth there. But they do get some serious points and some relationships and some character arcs with some of the characters, which was nice to see as well. So the script was well done. Done, and the direction and editing was really handled well for this. Uh, very few scenes take you outside of the storage facility, so you usually have this really f good feel of claustrophobic and being trapped, and you get that feeling that the uh, people have on a screen that they can't get out, and there's a constant threat of this monster going to attack them in and do, you know, gore them, basically. So they did that really well. In fact, the only few parts that I didn't care for that didn't quite make sense for me in the script, and I know kind of what they were going for, were parts that were taking place outside of the storage facility. There's this odd uh, scene here where we get to see an encounter, if you will, uh, with uh, a lady walking her dog, and something happens there, and it, it kind of seemed random, and I don't know if it was maybe setting up for a sequel later on, but that part took me just a little bit away from it, and I didn't think it was quite needed. I liked all the parts where they stayed in the storage facility and kept that feeling of claustrophobic uh, phobia and of being trapped and the threat. So, uh, you know, that... Th one out of that one scene, the rest of it I didn't really have a problem with as far as script or directing. Uh, the alien effects were really good as well. Alien kind of, uh, the monster alien uh, kind of had this, uh, a f you know, feeling of a Ray Harryhausen type of creature. I don't know if they went stop motion with it completely or CGI or did a blend, but he looked really cool and uh, definitely uh, looked better than what Asylum has done in the past. So uh, props there is uh, with it too. Um... The only thing is, outside of that other odd scene, was kind of the ending of the film. You know, I liked where they were going with the ending, and then in the last, like, two minutes, I was like, really, we went there? I'm like, you did all this really great stuff, this great setup, and then we just kind of go there. You know, just that little bit over the top that uh, also took away from it just a bit. But I really enjoyed this film. Uh, like I said, it had me on the edge of my seat at points. It has you laughing at some point. And uh, it has you going, oh my god, there's plenty of gore in there for you gore whores out there. And it is one that, if you're looking for a good monster film, you should definitely check out. Storage 24 got three and a half stubs for me on this one. Definitely worth your time. It's on video on demand. I not sure if it's in theaters yet. If it is, it may be limited release, but uh, any of you horror fans out there looking for a good monster film, this is one that you should put on your list. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.